there's not very much flare out from the heat, but in a case like this, it can melt the plastic. Okay, this one's popping and shattering. That's starting to melt as well. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold it like this, and you can look in the in here. Maybe you can even see with the camera in there. Can you see that? Hold down my glasses if I can't tell much of anything. It's kind of melting and bubbling and I'm not sure where your camera would focus if it does it on the screen or if it does it on the thing below. But if you were melting these stones together, you'd have to deal with the bubbles that come out. There's impurities in the stone that that uh, vaporize and then pop out as bubbles. And eventually the stone itself becomes very pure. So if I was turning uh, feldspar into moonstone, which is one of my favorite things to do, um, I just keep cooking a rock until there's no more bubbles. And it comes up with an absolutely pure amorphous moonstone. We've got a pretty good surface treatment on that one. Lots of little surface bubbles still popping out. So would it be a could it be liquefied enough that you could put it in something to shape it? Oh absolutely. Yeah. The question is what would take the heat. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So we'll go back to what would be this bag. Oops. Let me get my left hand thing going here. Oops.
you can see, I can still keep it red hot even if I'm like 18 inches away. The closer you get, the more of the energy it puts into the stone. Very laser like. Okay, so.